Following the light of the sun, we left the old world. Riches don't make a man rich, they only make him busier. By prevailing over all obstacles and distractions, one may unfailingly arrive at his chosen goal or destination. For the execution of the voyage to the Indies, I did not make use of intelligence, mathematics or maps. I saw a boy of the crew purchasing javelins, of them with bits of platters and broken glass. I have come to believe that this is a mighty continent which was hitherto unknown. These people are very unskilled in arms. With fifty men they could all be subjected and made to do all that one wished. Tomorrow morning before we depart, I intend to land and see what can be found in the neighborhood. The air soft as that of Seville in April and so fragrant that it was delicious to breathe it. Their houses are all built in the shape of tents, with very high chimneys. As soon as I arrived in the Indies, in the first island which I found, I took some of the natives by force, in order that they might learn and might give me information, of whatever there is in these parts, and so it was that they soon understood us and we them, either by speech or by signs, and they have been very serviceable. My desire was not to pass any island without taking possession, so that, one having been taken, the same may be said of all. There are trees of a thousand sorts, and all have their several fruits, and I feel the most unhappy man in the world not to know them for I am well assured that they are all valuable. I bring home specimens of them, and also of the land. I am a most noteworthy sinner, but I have cried out to the Lord for grace and mercy, and they have covered me completely. I have found the sweetest consolation since I made it my whole purpose to enjoy his marvelous presence. After having dispatched a meal, I went ashore, and found no habitation save a single house, and that without an occupant. We had no doubt that the people had fled in terror at our approach, as the house was completely furnished. For this purpose I determined to keep an account of the voyage, and to write down punctually everything we performed or saw from day to day, as will hereafter appear. I believe that there are many herbs and many trees that are worth much in Europe for dyes and for medicines. But I do not know, and this causes me great sorrow. Arriving at this cape, I found the smell of the trees and flowers so delicious that it seemed the pleasantest thing in the world. I found that part of it toward San Salvador, extending from north to south five leagues and the other side which we coasted along, ran from east to west more than ten leagues. But in truth, should I meet with gold or spices in great quantity, I shall remain till I collect as much as possible, and for this purpose I am proceeding solely in quest of them.